Hello again, this is Arden Kirkland with another video for week two of the D4L community module. I need to define another term for you, social density. I really like this definition from a blog post by Katie Babel, so let me just read it here. Ideal social density occurs when a critical mass has been reached. The number of active participants concentrated in one defined social space is high enough to provide a constant flow of activity but low enough that the level of activity doesn't feel inundating. Or, for an offline perspective, it's the balance between standing in an empty room and getting caught in a mosh pit, just the right amount of human interaction. So, if you're considering more than one different platform, how many should you use? Spreading out over too many social media platforms can decrease your social density on each, so the sense of community is small. Prioritize which platforms are most relevant and stick to one or just a few. We'll keep narrowing down through your different options. Here's a table for you to choose which level of privacy is most appropriate for your project. And this is also in your workbook for you to highlight your choice. Next is a table for you to choose which level of activity is most appropriate for your project. Again, also in your workbook. The more actively you'll be participating yourself, the more important it will be to choose a platform that makes it easy to follow the discussion of your entire community. So take a moment to reflect on these choices in your workbook, and then we'll return with the next presentation.